I've built a lot of weird projects lately, but I needed a new idea. So I asked the smartest AIs on the internet to give me one and told them all the same thing. The results? Wild, weird, kind of genius. So let's find out who gave me the best one and which AI should be banned from suggesting anything again. So here's how it worked. I gave each AI the exact same prompt. Give me a creative, useful, and beginner-friendly coding project idea. It must be original, not a clone, and have real word use. Bonus if it's fun. Then I asked all of them to build this idea for us so we can visualize it and judge it better. Then I rated each one on three things. Creativity, usefulness, and feasibility. Can a beginner actually build this? And first, I went with ChatGPT, my first AI bestie. He gave me the Mood Garden. This is a web app where a virtual plant or garden grows based on your daily mood inputs. So users log how they feel and the plant reacts. And over time, it becomes a living reflection of your emotional journey, because as you can see down here, it tracks our mood history. It's very easy to build, and ChatGPT gave me this app in React and JavaScript. It's also using Framer Motion. So for creativity, I would give a six out of 10. It's very immature. It's pretty nice, but it could be better. Usefulness two out of ten but also like if you really need a mood tracker because you want to know how you feel throughout the week trying to improve your everyday life of course it's not a big deal but i would give this seven out of ten for usefulness considering all of these things that i just said feasibility i would say 8.5 out of 10 it's super easy to make this one specifically is requiring a javascript framework this could totally be built only using html css and vanilla javascript but since ChatGPT gave us with React. It's easy, but it could be easier. This is the kind of project that I enjoy building as a hobby and not like, oh, I need to build this project to put in my portfolio to get a job or something like that. This is something that I would build out of pleasure. So yeah, this is definitely something I would do. GPT passed the test. Let's go to the next one. I'm gonna go with Google Gemini now. I was using 2.5 Pro. So this was a preview of the newest Gemini model. Gemini suggested the Serene Scene Generator. It's a calming web app that gives you a full screen mood board, soft colors, mindful quotes, and a soothing sound when you press a button. And the vibe, it's like a screensaver and a therapist had a baby. You load a page and it's like, breathe, you're okay. Kind of random, but also something I would use on my day-to-day -day life. Cause like when I'm studying, I love to have like soothing sounds in the background. Cause if I listen to music with lyrics on, I'm gonna get distracted. So this is something I would use on my day-to-day -day life. Although it's very, very simple. It's pretty much a screensaver. I can't imagine something easier than this. <laughs> I can definitely think of a better looking web app for this idea but of course just gave me this simple prototype and it's not actually what you would build because anyone can do it better than this this green and blue button doesn't make any sense to be honest but okay i would give a five out of ten for creativity it's kind of nice but could be a lot better six out of ten for usefulness probably because right now it's just playing this weird short sound and if you use the spotify api for example you could actually put entire songs or sounds that you can play while you're studying if you make it better it could be more useful feasibility nine out of ten it's super easy and also you can try how it is to use an api using spotify api i would love to make this project make it more complex more visually appealing so i guess good one gemini and let's go to the next one claude came in hot with the plant care companion a personalized assistant that helps you keep your house plants alive and thriving you can receive customized watering and feeding reminders based on the plant now that is useful i always buy fake plants because i can't actually take care of real ones so this is nice this is very basic looking we could totally make it better but let's try to add a new plant it gives us this form which is super cool and we can put the plant name species and type watering schedule i'm just testing out and the add plant doesn't actually work here but as i said 
take this idea, make it better. Creativity, I would rate 8 out of 10. This is super cool. For usefulness, 8 out of 10. This is very useful. Most people that I know cannot take care of plants. So this would be a nice one for them. I would say feasibility, 6 out of 10. This would work as a mobile app. You need the water reminders on your phone that's in your hands the entire day and not on your computer. There are a lot of details that you need to pay attention to when building something like this. You need a history of plants. You need to know how to save this to a database. You could go even further and add profiles. So you need to know how to register people. So it could get very complex. As a web app, this is very basic. You don't even need to bother in using a framework, but Claude used React. React. And finally, we have DeepSeek. It gave me the mood tracker plus music recommender. You type how you feel into a Python app and it recommends music to match. It's very old school, you need to use the command line, but I listen to music all the time. This would be really fun to build as a React web app, so... I like it. When I asked Dipsic to build it for me, it gave me the Python code. So I just copy it and paste it on Visual Studio Code so we can test it out. All you need to do to run this app was to type Python in the name of the file. And it says, welcome to the mood tracker plus music recommender. How are you feeling today? And then it gives us an, these options, happy, sad, angry, calm, tired. Based on your mood tired, try chill hop, indie folk, soft piano. And it's also something I would use on my day-to-day -day life because I like to listen to music based on how I am feeling. Okay, let's rate deep seek real quick for creativity i would say nine out of ten i really like this one usefulness not so much i could say six out of ten it is a very silly program and feasibility nine out of ten it's super easy to make and the winner is plot however it's not the project i'm gonna be building on this channel i'm gonna be a deep six project i would say claude one because it's the most useful app the most complex one and it is beginner friendly so claude definitely won this one ai cannot write all your code for you but it's pretty damn good at brainstorming ideas when your brain's right there are many discussion out there of how ai is gonna steal every developer's job but that's debatable and i would love to hear your opinions down here on the comments so feel free to share them with me so yeah see you next week